All right, today's the day. Let's try and get some paint down. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, attempt to spray the primer onto the inside here. Before I do that, I'm gonna give it a uh, one last uh, quick wipe down with uh, isopropanol alcohol just to make sure I've got any grease or oil for my hands or anything on there and then uh, I'm gonna get spraying. Okay so I've never painted a car before. Uh, I should be in a paint booth, yes. I should uh, have all this kind of uh, cleaned up better probably. Um, I've got basically just a cheap paint gun here and uh, I'm going to spray the epoxy first. So I'm just going to mix it up, add it to the gun. I do have a bit of filtration. I've got a filter here, just a Harbor Freight filter plus another filter on the gun. I'm going to try this on the interior here, see how well it works and uh, make improvements or adjustments that I need to uh, before I spray the exterior. So, let's see how it goes. Here's the color. So I've decided to go with uh, Guards Red. Okay, so the color's down. I'm very happy with how it turned out. Um, yeah, I think the color looks great and uh, it went down fairly, fairly uh, smoothly. Um, I made a couple adjustments from the uh, primer to this. I did use uh, a different tip, of course, on the gun. The primer, I used a 2.3 millimeter tip and uh, for this uh, paint, I used a uh, 1.4. Um, so what I'm using as far as paint goes, is it's a uh, single stage paint. It's a Guards Red. Uh, it's the same color as the 911 I have, because I just thought uh, I'm gonna use this as sort of a uh, practice piece, as I mentioned, and uh, if I need to uh, repaint the bumpers or anything on my 911, I can always use any leftover paint I have from this. So uh, I'm pretty happy. 
and uh, yeah, so I'm gonna let this uh, dry and then uh, we'll take a take another look. Actually, I'll bring the camera in a little bit closer and just show you how it turned out. Okay, so here's just a quick look. Uh, the lighting isn't the best in here, but you can see it went down uh, fairly well, especially for the uh, inside. These wires here, I just Didn't have to pull them all apart from the fuse box because it's a bit of a mess right now. So, but uh, yeah, I think it uh, turned out great. Okay, so that's where I'm going to end the video today. Uh, I know it's probably a fairly short video, but I got a lot done, and uh, it took me quite a while because I had to uh, wait in between coats and things like that. So, I'm happy with everything. Uh, how it turned out and uh, I'm glad the paint laid down nice and uh, next is just on to the exterior body work and hopefully we can get some primer and paint down on that as well so as always please like and subscribe and we'll see you next week on Analog Generations.